I pray that today, as you get out of here, you do not succumb to the pressures of this world. I pray that you have a sense of urgency in everything that you do. I pray that you learn to put God first. I also pray that you learn to manifest because the world will offer you um, exactly the energy that you give back to it. What kind of set of skills do you need to be ready for the job market? We have essential work skills. Uh, and these skills, uh, there are two set of skills that you guys need. Uh, one set of skill is, we call them the hard skills or the technical skills. Then we have the soft skills. Hi everyone, my name is Miriam Beatrice. I am the Programs Officer for East Africa at Paradigm Initiative. And at Paradigm Initiative, one of the projects that is near and dear to us is the Life Legacy Program, which is an acronym for Life Skills, ICT Skills, um, Financial Readiness, and Entrepreneurship. So this project started many years back in 2007 with a goal to ensure that young people uh, are equipped with digital digital skills and are ready for the digital for employment in the digital in the ICT sector. So why we do what we do is that um, in the course of our work we realized that young people um, are not able to access either employment or uh, a source of livelihood or you know just to improve them, themselves um, economically and one of the challenges is that they are either ill-equipped or not equipped at all uh, when it comes to li digital literacy. And so currently we have directly impacted over 150,000 young people across the continent. But now in Kenya, today we were graduating 39 participants who are our first lot um, to graduate from this particular program. So when I joined Life Legacy, it helped me to realize from the story that the lady gave today that many of us in one point of time, for given reason, in high school it had the opportunity to use a computer, but because of resources, you find that the program is shut down. So there goes your hope, there goes your dream. I love life legacy and go online that they don't look at the grades you get or the background you're coming from. It's what's your interest, what's your commitment, what's your time. And with that, I was able to realize my passion that I had for computers and I'm really loving the opportunity to learn it, to grow, that I still have hope that I can have a career in IT and I'm looking to be a DevSop engineer. I can say Goldline Africa it's, has, has really empowered me with financial skills, digital skills and life skills. For example, for me, I used to hate digital skilling, computering in fact, but now when I finish high school, I came outside hustling and whatever. I realized everything is about technology and computing. I just heard that Gonline Africa are taking young people, youths, to be empowered, to be taught digital skills. So I decided to come to Gonline Africa and have digital skills so that I can go outside there and empower others with the digital skills and also expose myself because I, I know those digital skills. If I look at the I, ICT or computer uh, training, it's very, very uh, important for especially for the current uh, learners because uh, most of the people, uh, we, are, we, are, we are shifting from, from hard copies to soft copies. And uh, if you look at uh, what is uh, it's happening with the gadgets that we are having today, even the, 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 the youngest, like three, four, knows how to dial and then communicate. And I think uh, digital learning is very, very key and it's very important. As a, as a school and as a center where we, we focus so much on on, 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 on the the, on the current situation because we are shooting in Kibera and most of the most of the the children are not exposed to this some of these gadgets and we would want to would want to embrace it so much so that it should be able to 
support even the children in that community. And as you know now, the digital um, arena transcends all spheres of life. And thus, um, if we have youth who are skilled uh, in various facets of the digital uh, disciplines, then they can be able to work both in the digital um, arena and also in other areas that are digitally enabled. And so the government is trying to ensure that youth who may not be formally placed um, have the skills, have the knowledge to be able to um, get themselves work that can be able to earn for them livelihoods. So I found the stories of the graduates so, so inspiring. It reminded me about why this is at the heart of what it is that we do, the many lives that would that are being affected by this program long beyond when we have forgotten that this happened, families and lives will be changed. And I am so grateful to be a part of the process that helps to improve their lives. And if I was to give a word to the graduates today and the ones that are to come, it is to hold on to these skills. You don't necessarily need a certificate. <laughs> um, what you need are the skills and they will take you very far in life. Don't drop them. Uh, use them wherever you can, whenever you can, and you are assured of a successful future. So, well done. We have a big, audacious goal at Paradigm Initiative, and that is one day, no young person from Africa will be limited to accessing opportunities, job opportunities, or even living up to their fullest potential because of either the backgrounds that they're coming from, the communities that they're coming from, or they lack the resources to access these opportunities. So for us to get closer to that dream and for us to get closer to achieving that big dream as an organization is through Life Legacy Program, one of the initiatives, Life Legacy Program, because within this program, we are training young people from um, underserved communities in Africa um, to ensure that they have the, uh, the tools, the resources, the networks, the skills to access job opportunities, one, or to start their own initiatives and thrive in their own initiatives. Thank you.